My name is Ted Herman. I'm the Vice Chairman of the Mutual of America Foundation, and I can't begin to tell you how honored I feel to have been selected to introduce Ellie Wiesel to this gathering of his friends in Fidesco. To be honest, Ellie is one of only a few people in this world who actually needs no introduction at all, <laughs> which only makes my job a little more difficult. I'm pitch hitting tonight for Tom Moran. Tom, as you know, is the chairman, president, and CEO of Mutual America, and he wanted me not only to extend his welcome to all of you this evening, but also to express his regrets that he cannot be with us tonight. You know, just as a little personal aside, I would tell you that my father was born in 1899 in a province of Romania that was known as Transylvania. I always thought he was joking whenever he said Transylvania. <laughs> Who ever heard of Transylvania other than on the comic strip of Frankenstein? <laughs> then, many years later, I overheard Elie Wiesel say he too was born in an area of Romania known as Transylvania. Strange, the two most admired men in my life, born just a few miles apart from each other in a very small piece of this planet. Now, all of you know Ellie as the spokesperson for a generation of people who couldn't speak for themselves, people who didn't survive the Holocaust. Ellie has given his voice and meaning to so many people that were not able to speak for themselves. Ellie has become the moral spokesperson of our generation as well. Whether, whether cautioning a president about going to Bitburg or, or pleading for justice, freedom, and equality in the Soviet Union, South Africa, or the Middle East, Ellie's voice is heard when others remain silent. In Ellie's own words, in his own words, and I quote him, to remain silent and indifferent is the greatest sin of all. Those words really stand as a summary of Ellie's own life. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with such great pleasure and certainly much humility that I welcome to the podium author, professor, recipient of the Congressional Medal of Freedom and the Nobel Prize for Peace, our own generation's voice of morality, Ellie Wiesel.